A major gas leak yesterday was still impacting traffic patterns near the intersection of 18th and Salem Street today. Our Emily Slater reports from the scene. You can still smell the gas in the air here on Salem Street from a major gas leak that happened yesterday. County Health Officer Dr. Gregory Loomis says while the smell is yet to dissipate, the gas levels in the area are now safe. So the this, this, this smoke and pollution we have in the air right now and the heat is holding everything there so it hasn't had a chance to get out of our system. Kind of like if you have gas on your stove at home, you open the windows and let the air clear it out. Well, that hasn't happened here yet. So there is still some gas in the air, but is well within the safe limits from what I understand. A contractor punctured the six inch wide gas main, causing the gas leak yesterday afternoon. Power and gas has been returned to area homes and businesses. Area residents were evacuated to shelters set up at North End Community Center yesterday. According to Lafayette Fire Chief Brian Alkire, they were able to re-enter their homes last night around 6.30. I believe estimated around 35 people were evacuated altogether. About a two and a half block radius around the leak was evacuated based on the readings we were finding in the wind direction. Dr. Loomis recommends anyone feeling adverse effects of the gas exposure calls their doctor. And of course, as always, if they do have any continuing problems, please call your primary care physician or nurse practitioner as soon as possible. The gas leak had most of 18th Street closed yesterday. It has now reopened. The only place that we are still seeing closures is between Union and Salem Street. The area between Union and Salem was completely closed to traffic this morning, but reopened with lane restrictions midday. Chief Alkire was unable to give a timeline on when to expect all damages to be fixed and the street to open completely. And then those lane closures would be uh, uh, indefinite until they get the final repairs to the street service done. Crews are on the scene right now, right behind me, to get their street open as soon as possible. Emily Slater, Star City News, Lafayette.